good morning and very happy okay that's nice okay happy to see you all here okay hope uh, you are uh, you know working employees or you are a fresher or you are uh, you know uh, you have already some experience and then now you had a gap and looking for a job and i assume majority of you are trying to switch your domains um from a different domain whatever it could be to devops or cloud or development okay if my guess is wrong that's what it is okay if you have if you are at a different situation or your if your scenario is different right do not hesitate to unmute yourself and then let me know on what what is that okay so let me introduce about myself my name is shrikant adari and i'm working as a devops lead at one of the world famous companies i don't want to name it but yeah i can you can go through it um, and find those details on the profile okay so you can find me and search me with the keyword s r w k d h space e d r i and uh, all the details are there i worked in india i got uh, and i worked in us i worked in uk for 3 years and i worked in malaysia for another 3 years okay i'm not telling you uh, to give you my uh, um, you know travel i history but uh, i'm telling you because i have experience um working offshore and onshore which is um, which makes a difference you know a uh, majority of us uh, you know work uh, offshore and um, there is a difference when you actually work with client and i got more than 19 years of it experience okay out of which most of my experience was uh, to support the infrastructure uh there could be people who are from the uh, infrastructure support here if you are you raise your thumbs so that i'll be happy to see uh, you know um, people who are on uh, similar uh, lines like me okay and uh, <clears throat> yeah and uh, i switched my domain four times guys okay i started my career as a faculty and then got into the system administrator and then got into backup became backup architect and got into storage and got, became storage architect and i got into you know um uh, devops in 2019 okay so see the reason why i mentioned you uh, my travel history to abroad uh, to us uk and malaysia right so there is a difference i mean majority of us are from india it could be two people from other parts of the world uh, there is a difference you know what i have seen you know um the people or there in uk um they switch the domains very very frequently okay for us for the people from india mostly we tend to you know settle down in the same domain and uh, you know uh, we uh, it takes years until unless the domain is completely faded out uh, it, it lots it lost its charm in the market it's losing its demand uh, the competition is more because there are more seniors in the domain and uh, um, uh, sometimes we will be feeling inferior to you know uh, uh, to attempt and to, to change the job uh, because there could be uh, you know may, maybe we cannot claim the same old salaries i mean i'm talking about the domains legacy domains or the domains which are replaced with the latest uh, uh, changes in the market it's going crazy guys it's going crazy in the market i mean uh, uh, now cloud cloud had replaced a lot of Uh, domains particularly uh, for suppose i was a backup in storage architect right uh, it is just a click of a button okay so in uh, for suppose in aws take uh, storage is of majorly three or four types isn't it glaciers s3 buckets um, in s3 buckets we have different tiers of storage that's all uh, it's not a larger concept at all but i was um, not only me lot of people were working uh, uh, for years on the same domain okay you can match with whatever the domain you are okay it could be the same story with your domain as well okay if you agree please give a thumb okay so and now it's going even more crazier okay now we have chat gpt and one of the you know enrolled uh, member of this real time program okay we are going to talk about a lot in real time program today okay one one of the you know um, enrolled member said that there is something called as k it is uh, gpt how many of you know what, what, uh, this this kind of uh, uh, gpt kubernetes is uh, gpt okay similar to chat gpt anybody know heard about it give thumbs up if you heard about it 
uh, if there are more thumbs up right uh, uh, then maybe i am lagging uh, behind in the technology if there are no thumbs up maybe it's new for a lot of you okay thumbs down meaning you don't know okay so that's what it is i mean uh, it's going crazy yaar i mean uh, the the number amount of efforts we are manually you know have to uh, put in the projects is getting uh, reduced and the new things are coming up and uh, we, we we more uh, if i'm not wrong mostly you might be here for devops or cloud or uh, you know um, the development right so there is if you are here for devops and cloud there is something which is going to come up which is uh, ml ops i know my screen share is gone i know my screen share is gone let me do that again let me reshare it okay sharing my screen. ml ops a ops okay so it's so it's changing okay so what we need to do i mean it's not humanly possible to adopt all the technologies here i am clearly as our experience is growing right if you see uh, my experience i mean there could be older people like me uh, than me but i am 43 years old now and uh, and i am i have growing kids and uh, there could be a lot of people who are seniors here who got more than 8 10 years of it experience right or uh, any experience we are you know our age uh, there is an age factor and uh, it's not really possible to adopt new technologies quickly right so what we should do is to you know build the mindset to adopt anything okay to adopt anything and find out the solution quickly for what actually is required and then do it and majority of us are already doing it uh, in our domains okay uh, okay if you agree you give a thumbs up you will join a project for, uh, based on you know few skills of yours and definitely there will be lot of other new things you will be finding over there and you will have to you know quickly learn them and then provide solution to the uh, customer right so that is what is actually required i mean we should not uh, stick to the same old school uh, method of okay sit on a bench okay get a document sign it put a stamp and then move it forward to the next bench and we do that all the years no that's not the model we are in particularly it it's not like that so with the your technologies are uh, evolving so we have to you know build the mindset to adopt new things and uh, you know learn then and there quickly uh, search in chat gpt or something like if you are working on kubernetes kds cpt or youtube or uh, stack overflow or whatever the sources are or ask a friend to learn quickly and what it is and deliver it that's how it is and uh, let me tell you how this real time program can help you out in those lines okay uh, to build that kind of mindset okay if you once build that kind of mindset right you can get into any domain okay when i was in uk I, I, if anybody are already there in this kind of culture you know, let me know i see people like you know switching their domains and changing their cv like uh, you know um, it's a madness i should say okay even even after 2 3 months they change their you know domain and try in the market whatever is the jd they put those keywords in their uh, uh, you know uh, cv even i did that when i traveled to uk in 2014 i did that and slowly even indian uh, market is also turning like that because uh, you know because of uh, a faster change in technology earlier you know it's my my experience i got into you know uh, devops in 2019 and uh, when i got into devops it's very very demanding you know it's very very demanding and now it, now also it got that demand but the thing is now the slowly the expectations are raising uh, and the uh, client is expecting the developer also to know devops or the developer also to know uh, devops and it is going towards site reliability engineering kind of thing. okay it is changing Hello? a lot okay. yeah prashant yeah i am not able to understand sir yes thanks for letting me know okay i did share my screen okay cool thank you school okay okay quickly let me um, okay that that's i mean okay we we uh, talked a bit about how it is evolving technology that we all know that it's not a rocket science what i am teach the talking here so i mean it is a weekend we we just open up and speak uh, out 
whatever we feel there uh, you can also do that i would like to uh, have this session more interactive so that uh, i learn from you guys and you learn from me or from others who are in the forum okay let's add value to each other for the time we spend here okay we are left with 14 more minutes 14 more minutes let us uh, add more value to and a uh, little heat to this you know fire to this uh, session okay let's jump into the agenda of this uh, you know meeting in order to survive in it we have to be very very communicative and uh, it would be appreciated uh, if you, all of you can open up and interact later on or anytime whenever you want okay so we are going to talk about only the first thing uh, a lot and the other two things as well okay business plan projects and practice negotiations placement so you guys might be wondering what these business plan projects are okay we might be wondering okay well, um, how it is it really possible for you to get an exposure to the business plan projects and are these business plan projects really business plan projects okay okay i know that i'm addressing to the people who are already on the same domain i know that i'm addressing to the people who are switching your domains majority could be of that category i know that i'm talking to the people who are freshers and i am i also know that i'm talking to the people who might be uh, you know similar into similar business I don't call them competitors, okay? I call them collaborators. That's all. You can also have you can also collaborate with, uh, with us. Okay, um, world is so big and the opportunities are so high, and we can work together, you know, to expand and help each other and help the you know uh, you know aspirants uh, here. Okay, so business client projects. These are the projects uh, you know which are uh, uh, being taken care or being you know uh, engaged with mfh it solutions and mfh it solutions is a software development company and it is a child company of very cosmopolitan private limited company and uh, it is found in 2014 and it's been a decade into the uh, it services and it is mainly into you know development on java full stack okay uh, it is mainly it does the projects to take up the projects uh, from the clients to do the development using java full stack okay and we uh, have different teams uh, for devops machine learning um, uh, cloud who will be implementing those practices as per the requirement of the client and uh, for, for sure every uh, project will be having devops and cloud practices implemented and uh, this program is introduced around five years ago uh, to help the aspirants and also to increase our resource pool. We need resources. We need resources. Already there are more than 2,000 architects associated with us. Okay. Not everybody are active, but uh, that is the kind of you know resource pool we got. But still, we are running out of resources. We need resources. And uh, we also know the pain that it is not, uh, you know, possible for anybody for um, uh, to easily switch the domains without you know the real um, experience and uh, we thought we are helping the aspirants uh, or their who, who does uh, who are lacking that uh, kind of exposure okay let's see how it uh, works let's open the company portal hopefully it will be logged in guys let's Log into the portal. Oh man, this is not logged Let me quickly log into the website because I wanted to show you the projects and the project architectures and also tell you on how you can take part of it. Okay, so Prashant, I think both of us are recording. That's okay. Let me give you the, all of our tools have two factor authentication enabled. You will experience that once you get onboarded. Okay, so let me. We are left with exactly 10 more minutes, guys. I want to do a hard stop. I don't want to waste your time because it's the time for us to spend with the family and, uh, you know, relax uh, after working long, after having a long week uh, struggle. Okay. 545060. Zero, zero. Cool. It's 
excuse me <coughs> okay so this is a company portal and the url is myfuturup.com and let's get into the clients <coughs> on which the uh, uh, clients of mfj is going to use and you can go through the clients here guys okay i know that uh, there are thousands of lakhs of websites and why do you really want to go the clients of uh, others okay okay um, i'm just kidding but you might be interested in the clients which are ongoing right okay if it is me i would think in those lines okay so fusion tech and team mobile are the ongoing clients we always uh, you know keep the clients on top of the clients list which are ongoing where we are sir. the clients which we are currently supporting okay fusion tech is a crm tool company and we are developing multiple crm tools or the applications for this uh, project and as of now we are working or about to start start the work on um, you know um, uh, so developing the sales application and let me take you to uh, the project details of fusion tech and also we'll also go through the team of our project and uh, yeah I, i'll open the architectures and then we'll talk the tools and technologies involved there and uh, we deal with the heterogeneous clouds guys um, it's not only devops or azure or gcp or oracle cloud we deal with heterogeneous clouds and we uh, currently are dealing mostly with aws and azure cloud so uh, we implement azure or azure depending on the client's requirements and mostly we see the client's um, uh, requirements uh, on these two clouds aws and azure okay uh, fusion tech got aws cloud and t mobile got azure and t mobile got heterogeneous clouds it also got aws and gcp as well but we mostly are dealing with the azure uh, cloud and azure devops of it okay and we are not taking care of development of t mobile they are they are, it's a different team okay they have uh, um, they have what they, they have a different team who is working on java uh, they build their applications using java and scala okay and we are only responsible for implementing the devops cloud practices and for the client fusion tech fusion tech uh, it is uh, we are thing mfhi the solutions is taking care of uh, the development part we uh, for loc is the developer lead who is uh, you know driving the team and uh, and he is responsible for the deliverables of the development part and uh, they are using java spring boot as a back end and angular for the front end and they are using rts and multiple other resources on cloud uh, for their deployments okay for their uh, applications to get deployed okay so we are at the very start of the uh, uh, in a very i mean it's just the tip of the iceberg there are we do the complete the projects this particular project in phases in phase 1 it's more of manual intervention it's a mix of both manual and automation but in phase 2 and 3 we will be mostly automating the whole of the environment and in phase 1 we will not be using kubernetes but in phase 2 and 3 we will be using kubernetes and terraform uh, for the infrastructure development uh, deployment and all that it would be nice if we can if we can open the architectures and uh, you know uh, talk about the projects okay so all the projects uh, sessions happen on microsoft teams guys from wherever you join you will be joining on microsoft teams and you will be interacting with the team and be like a team member and uh, slowly adapt to the project if you are a graduate you will be able to understand the project you don't need to be already trained or uh, you don't need to be mastered you know pick up the task you do the reverse learning uh, if any uh, um, the people who join from the start of this uh, session uh, uh, you uh, i was telling about i was telling about uh, adopting the newer uh, technologies and quickly learning and uh, uh, deploying or meeting the deliverables to the clients okay that's what you will be exactly doing if you are not already trained still you can parallelly uh, take the opportunity to directly take part of the projects because you normally don't get that opportunity anywhere okay so you'll be joining a microsoft teams you learn if you are a graduate as i told you you will easily be able to understand the architecture how you will be able to understand see the architecture for the ongoing clients these are the three learning management systems you will be given access training is free guys in 2023 don't need to spend for training 
there is no point in spending for the training because if you ask a friend if you get on to youtube udemy and um, multiple different sources training is free okay and as low as 200 rupees indian rupees you get it for uh, a training 2 and of dollars that's all 200 of 2 and of 2 3 dollars that's all don't need to really you know pull tear our pockets and spend all the money out there and uh, like uh, what we see is majority of the people after spending a lot of money on training they regret that they have not learned they have only learned the overview of uh, you know the technology just the high level that's what the training centers are doing uh, i don't i don't say everybody does that but majority of them are doing that. okay so we need, we'll be getting uh, we shall get into the business client real time live projects learning management system where all the ongoing and the completed say, projects will be uploaded here the reason why we are uploading everything over there is because majority of the people who are enrolled in this program are working employees and there are a lot of people who are joining from abroad okay uh, majorly from us uk um, and other parts of the world so keeping them in mind uh, it is we know that it's not uh, possible to always to take part of the projects though they are interested and they wanted to be part of it so we upload everything in a sequence and uh, we facilitate them to have all the projects handy at the comfort of your thumb okay so here you have uh, if at all you are a, a devops as friend right similarly development we have lms uh, similar lms for development okay aws devops cjo devops gcp whatever is your choice you can get into it if you are a devops as friend don't need to choose between clients now as i told you the you know requirements are changing from the client clients are expecting people to have heterogeneous uh, um, cloud experiences and also there uh, i mean this is one of the expectation which is slowly changing earlier uh, they used to ask okay either aws or azure or gcp or oracle uh, okay there are other clouds as well alibaba cloud is also there hawaii cloud is there i don't want to mention them now because um, they are still emerging okay so this is the ongoing project guys these are all projects okay soon after you get access you get access to all the completed projects and these are the projects and uh, every project will be having i am a little bit going faster guys because we are left with only two more minutes okay run book will be maintained it ha it will be having architecture diagram you will be involving from scratch in, from uh, the architecture diagram preparing the architecture di diagram till uh, you know uh, completing the deployment being part of the team being part of the team means you are part of the agile you will be joining the scrum calls you will be joining the retrospect calls backlog review sessions okay um sprint planning meetings and if you don't have any experience if you don't know what is kanban board what is uh, you know uh, um t-shirt sizing what is uh, uh, agile and if you never have been part of it and you never have worked on this technology right there is no better place in this world i'm telling you out of 19 years of experience because not i'm part of this you might have imagine how many uh, trainings I, my, i might have gone through and how much i might have explored and you know struggled to you know up skill okay i am telling you okay this is the best way for you to you know uh, make your transition faster and if you are already on the same domain this is the best way for you to you know uh, to master the technology okay so i don't want to deep dive into the uh, architectures and things like that and the details basically the run book will be having all the details and you can start every project from scratch and this is the phase 1 and this is phase 2 and this is phase 3 of the project okay which has sonar cube which has terraform will be using terraform ekk ccr um, rds s3 buckets grafana prometheus and um, we are using github over there and github actions for the cicd majority of you might be already learning jenkins right it's an opportunity for you to learn uh, github actions and in a different project we will be we might be using jenkins in a different project we might be using GitLab cicd so you can get exposure to multiple different tool stack uh, through this exposure okay cool so let me now okay what uh, okay let me go back to the okay and it will be also having a project tracker and all the recordings will be in serial order okay and i'm running out of time to show architectures of every project guys but hope you get a glimpse of get an idea on um, uh, what it is and how it will work and uh, how you can upskill okay 
and you will be given access to the environment guys don't worry about it you will be given access to the environment except test environment okay test environment you have to set it up by yourself and architects and the team will be helping you out on how to do that and uh, for the production deployment you will be doing for the, on the client production deployment okay to to take the opportunity to deploy to the client production okay you have to you know uh, um, complete few stages you have to understand you have to complete the dev deployment and then you get into uh, the production deployment after um, the architect approves you okay because there are other people who are also in the you know um, uh, race kind of okay so this is kanban board and this is jira and you will be given access to jira and all the tickets will be uh, you know created like this but suppose yesterday um, we just worked on java app uh, this is java app uh, dev uh, we have completed the dev task to you know dockerize the image um, for the angular application which is front end okay and uh, Okay, so this is how uh, you'll be working on tickets, and you can you will be updating the tickets. And there is something called as project tracker. Okay, we are slightly out of uh, the time slot. I am really sorry about that, guys. But let me finish it off. I'm good. Okay. So there is something called as member project understanding tracker. Meaning every task. So the same task which you are seeing here on Jira. Okay, this is a few two three zero, right? Same task will be listed here. F U two, F U T T zero. This one, okay. This this one, F U two T zero, and this is to write Docker file to create Docker image for CI/CD. And uh, similarly, if you are a developer, right? Developer uh, project tracker is this, and uh, it is the same process. Here, we take the you know uh, from each and every aspirant who is joining here. Okay, we take this feedback or we note this down whether you have understood or tested it or doubts we wanted to know where you are standing okay if you understood you mention it as understood if you already have done the dev deployment you, uh, you mention it as tested successfully and if you are working okay you mention that you are working progress or doubts or deployed in production okay whatever is your status if you don't understand also mention you did not understood so that we make sure that you understand it and you take the opportunity if possible to get hands on and uh, you know complete the project and after completing a single project like that and each member will be working every task in dev environment but production only one will be taking the opportunity to deploy in production but that's how every project if you are taking part of it end to end no, but you will be unstoppable. I mean, nobody can stop you. I mean, you, you now have hands on, you have thoroughly understood the project and you just showcase this project at the end of every project completion, we give you the summary to showcase in your uh, profiles. Even the working employees and the, on the same domain also has to do that, right? Our profiles have to be updated regularly. Okay, update that, fill your profile with only the projects which you have worked on and uh, parallel you get theoretical training okay here or anywhere else and uh, that's it you 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 can you'll start enjoying the domain okay so that's how the program will be guys and uh, if you are a person who are really desperate and that doesn't have much time you wanted to learn more in less of time this is a place for you okay and hopefully you will be part of this program and you'll take advantage of it and you will be a resource in the future and uh, okay let me conclude this with uh, okay any questions before i move on and conclude it yes yeah go on yeah hi this is javed here hey javed uh actually i wanted to ask you one question like uh, i don't have any knowledge about this devops uh, so i could complete this uh, course yeah, yeah, you can, you can. That's what it is, right? You can start from scratch. I mean, if you have not started yet, if you don't have idea, um, we'll be anyway giving you access to the training part free. Okay, so we'll be giving you access to the training part free, and these trainings 
we are not a training center but we got the trainings from uh, uh, internally and externally mostly external training from the famous trainers who taught the training uh, individually on each tool i mean these are not overview of each tool like majority of the other thing and you have all the clouds covered there all the major clouds covered there aws edur and cp and i personally go through these trainings i love these trainings and uh, the team is also enjoying these trainings and you can go through this training Right. And both both can go hand in hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I know yeah. like like the duration of this? Uh, okay. There are four different durations. Okay. Four months or eight months or twelve months. Okay. Sorry. Three different durations. Silver, gold, and platinum. Okay. So three. Uh, you can opt for four months because uh, three months should be good enough for you as a buffer. You can opt for extra month. Okay, we provide you four months minimum, and uh, you need to choose which duration you want. Okay. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. More good. Tejas. Yeah, who is this? Yeah, I am Tejas, sir. Hey, Tejas. Yes, sir. Already, I have two years experience with you know GCP DevOps, sir. This training okay. is mandatory for me, or any exemption for no training. I mean, so you're already on GCP, right? GCP, uh, yes, you're already, sir. and uh, what is that you wanted to upskill other on other dev or other clouds or what? AWS or uh, AWS. I want to look into AWS. Yeah, if you already uh, uh, are aware of GCP, then jump into AWS and Azure. And we are not mostly not taking up any GCP projects anyway. Now uh, yes, we are sir. only dealing with AWS and uh, Azure clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So hello e project hello. E yeah hello one of the other hello Kar kartik this side yeah kartik don yeah. actually i have the uh, i have done the classes of uh, devops uh, right now so i need to get a hands on on a particular aws cloud so how can we proceed further Yeah, so you are planning to get into AWS Cloud only or uh, AWS DevOps also? AWS DevOps. Okay. Actually, so I, have you... a, uh, I have experience. Experience on AWS DevOps? Do you already have experience on it? Actually, I have done, done the classes uh, of uh, DevOps. Classes, right? Okay, uh, now, yeah, theory, theory has a lot of different between uh, the client pro real client project deployments and theory okay so for suppose in theory and in your lab you don't use service accounts to come between components but in any client you have to use service account to i'm giving you an example one example okay so because you have completed the the theory it is time for you to jump into uh, the projects and take the tickets onto your shoulder and test your knowledge and uh, uh, see how um, uh, and learn the real uh, world scenarios. Okay, these are not scenarios. The real world requirements. These are business client projects. And through, uh, for suppose you are seeing the ticket from a Fusion Tech client. Okay, and similarly uh, the other yeah, projects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely right. right. But uh, I I need to get a platform so so that I can uh, get handy on the particular uh, tools, right? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what this program is. You will be added to the platform. You will be given access to the components. Okay. You will be working like a team member. Okay. 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 Let me quickly show you an example. So if you are planning to get into AWS DevOps, right? Okay. AWS DevOps, all the projects happen in this channel. You will be given access to this channel so now you get onboarded. Let me take the... Uh, Recent, we operate only from Monday to Friday, okay? So, 20, 23, 10, 13, because yesterday, okay? So, you see how the team is working. They are uh, working on dockerizing the image, okay? So, they have access to the platform and they are working on it. And uh, and this is a dev ticket they are working on, okay? Dev, for development, they can use their own test labs or they can do it locally. Whereas for production, they will be working on client production and everyone. <laughs> and you see uh, on the right side, all the members have joined. 
so collaboratively we will be working as a team member okay so it's a lot of hands on okay and uh, this is the ticket for the same task which you are seeing over here which they were working yesterday they have completed it successfully and the market has done okay so each one of them uh, given to the particular uh, lab test lab right yeah so yeah each one uh, will be having their own test lab and they will be working on it we call it as dev first and then once they have completed it now on monday we will be doing production i think we will be doing the production deployment and who have done that who will be taking the opportunity on production it goes in round robin method okay so only one can uh, take the opportunity to deploy in production but um, for that it's you need to little compete with the team okay you need to little bit uh, be competitive over there you should be you know show that enthusiasm pick up the task involve in it brainstorm okay yeah yeah you wanna, yeah yeah Hello, sir. Yeah, so that's how it works, guys. Yeah, go on. Hello. I am Panindra, sir. My name is Pani. Hey, Pani. Uh, yeah. Hi, sir. Actually, I have uh, around three years of experience uh, as a DevOps and database uh, uh, engineer, actually, in the entity data. Oh, sir. Uh, okay. Hello. Okay. Great. Yeah. Great. Uh, Great. Uh, uh. I am coming from a uh, testing domain, sir, as manual test. Before that, I worked in manual testing. I got an opportunity in DevOps, sir. I moved to there internally. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Awesome. But what happened that uh, in NTT, I didn't get much exposure to work on other tools presently, limelighting tools like Kubernetes, Terraform, and uh, every organization. Uh, presently, I left my organization, sir, due to some uh, issues. I left the organization. Presently, appearing for interviews. Actually, last uh, okay. yesterday, I faced interview for Tech Mahindra. Uh, now, okay. interviews quite quietly changed, sir, actually. Last two years back interviews mm. and present interviews are scenarios are entirely different actually. Uh, those ask about okay. uh, presently those are asking about that uh, Kubernetes and Terraform scripts and real time exposure to that one. So mm. is this uh, real time projects uh, run on Kubernetes and Terraform also, sir? Yes, yes, yes. We do. We use we use all kind of tool stack. Okay, a while ago I was showing the architecture. Uh, where is it gone? Uh, okay, Le uh, Azure and uh, this one. Okay. This is the ongoing project where, where we are starting from scratch, and we we are doing this project in phases. I told you, right? So this is in phase one. We are not using Kubernetes and Terraform here. We are doing the deployment manually just to quickly test the application. And in phase two and three. We'll be using EKS, which is the Elastic Kubernetes Service, and we'll be using ECR, and we'll be using Terraform uh, for the infrastructure deployment. Yeah, it is a bigger plan. Okay, it will be awesome for you to you know get your hands on. This way, there will be uh, you know multiple different projects will be having Kubernetes, and you can jump into you know multiple different environments and uh, get exposed and involved in you know getting your hands dirty. Yes. Sir. Yeah, that's it. Actually, this uh, paid, uh, how much is this one? This real time projects pay. Any okay, post? so we have we have three options silver, gold, and platinum. Okay, uh, just the durations are different. Otherwise, oh, the access, months. the level of access. Yeah, four months, eight months, and 12 months. So, okay. four months is at 16,000. And oh. uh, um, every, uh, you know, every for every four months, there will be an addition of uh, uh, 4,000 there for eight months it is 20,000 and for 12 months it is 24,000 okay there is a difference of 4,000 rupees there and you don't need 12 months to really get into the job or change your do domain you're already in the same domain right you you only have to upskill uh, on your tools and uh, technologies in DevOps right okay, that's it. so you don't need uh, uh, for you in your case right okay I would prefer to be for longer time because uh, I wanted to learn all the time Okay, wanted to get exposed to different tools, just like you. Okay, so your choice is yours to what duration you want. Um, four months is uh, 16,000 and uh, eight months is 20,000 and 12 months is 24,000. And single shot payment, you get it for uh, 2,000 less, so whatever the secret is. You'll be given access to the whole of the environment. You'll be given access to the ticketing system. You'll be given access to Microsoft Teams. And you'll be given access to the three learning management systems, 
uh, and you'll be given access to the production environment of the clients. Okay, sir. For every project. Yeah. Sir, so, uh, any training training is provided for Kubernetes and Terraform because of the Kubernetes uh, architecture required. Those are asking lot more uh, questions in interviews, sir. Actually, <laughs> cracking interviews are also required. Some theoretical knowledge is also important. Uh, okay, clustering and deployment is okay, sir. We know the what is the exact happening, but uh, uh, those are asking every each and every word in the uh, interview section, sir. Correct, correct. So, see, we are not a training center, but yeah, yeah, okay, okay. these say, these free trainings, what we are providing, are a lot better than a lot of live trainings. There. Yeah, so see, I personally, yeah, I, we got this. Yeah, because uh, of real time exposure, yeah. you are giving real time exposure. Huh? Definitely, it is correct. Useful. Yeah, and uh, this Kubernetes, I personally love this Kubernetes training. I have <laughs> gone through the same training multiple times. Even uh -huh. now, I would like to have a recap on this. You will okay. also enjoy for sure. These are 33 hours of uh, trainings and led by some famous trainers over there in the uh -huh. market. And uh, you can go through this training. I mean, training it, will be giving you it is, free, of course. Where it is, sir? It is in Kubernetes. Yeah, you are... will not be having uh, in, on our web portal. Yeah, oh, okay. MFH web portal. Okay, sir. Okay. You are uh, okay. actually your architecture uh, architecture background of cloud, sir. Yeah, I am a DevOps architect. I am DevOps lead. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, mostly majorly on Azure. Okay, I deal okay. with Azure DevOps projects over here. Sir, yes, sir. Yes. Presently, Azure okay, DevOps great. also asking more, sir. It's booming. DevOps. Yeah, booming. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yeah, that's the reason I suggest if somebody starting from. Uh, uh, Scratch or new into this domain, right? I I suggest them major DevOps. Sir, one one more doubt, sir. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, actually, this yes. uh, Azure Data Bricks presently into Limelight, sir. Azure Data Bricks also. Correct, uh, correct. Okay. If you see the, this project, uh, uh, the other project what we have is uh, on Azure Data Bricks only. Okay, the Azure DevOps project. Okay, let me where it is. Okay, so this one, uh, this is also ongoing project. Okay, we are using Azure Databricks, Azure Data Factory, Azure Functions. Okay, the, the, those are really you know, uh, buzz buzz and hot hot in the market right now. Yes, uh, those are uh, buzzwords in the market right now, and they are very demanding. So this architecture, if you see, we are deploying onto Azure Functions, Azure Data Back. Uh, a data factory and data bricks. Okay. okay. So as of okay. now, we are working on a project uh, for CDR. We call it a CDR AG, where the deployment is onto the data bricks. So with the use of this real-time exposure, we can learn end to end of every each and every uh, project. Yeah, every every technology, okay. every tool, sir. I think. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can thanks, guys. Any. Excuse me. Yeah. 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 Can we have both like Azure and AWS jobs uh, by combining? Yeah, soon after you enroll, it is enrollment for all the projects. We don't stop you. Okay. It is enrollment for all the projects. You can take part of it is advantageous for us to, if you are taking part of multiple projects because anyway, you will be contributing to work on it. Right. And it is also advantageous for you guys because you get more exposure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, these are the contact numbers, guys. Okay, you can enroll to this program and both these projects. At a time, we'll be dealing with only two projects. Um, uh, and you can take part of uh, or those two projects. And that way, one after the other, multiple projects will be completing. If you are going for 12 months, at least there will be 60 plus projects. And accordingly, uh, you can divide for four months and eight months. Okay, so you can take part of n number of projects and you will be, you know, enjoying exposure to different uh, heterogeneous technologies, clouds and uh, uh, tool stack. Okay, and how do you enroll? You enroll, um, you can contact us on these contact numbers or you can enroll uh, through our portal. We'll be sharing you the links on how to enroll. Soon after you enroll, we'll be giving you access to this tool stack and the uh, you know client environments that we call it as onboarding. We'll be taking a few hours to onboard you. 
soon after you are onboarded you can have access to the enrollment you can start taking part of the uh, you know projects as a team member and uh, meet and greet the architects and uh, you know start your journey okay guys thank you so much for joining today evening be in touch okay if you are already in touch on whatsapp okay um, you can ping us back and say that hey i have joined your demo and i would like to you know, take part of it and uh, i'm prepared now to jump into the uh, projects and uh, uh, get my hands dirty and also parallelly get trained okay so we'll be happy to onboard you and uh, add you as a team member there are 239 people as of now okay uh, if one more uh, joining is there they, it will be rounded to 240 okay and uh, i don't know who is that uh, guy but whoever it is will be you know slightly discounting for you okay another thousand okay first come on first come first serve basis okay let's make it 240 today okay so, and you can start uh, interacting with the team and not just this client projects and the free trainings out there guys there are a lot of other activities happening out, out there. So every Monday we have a profile grooming session where we'll be helping you to check your LinkedIn profile, check your job profile and check your CV. We'll be sharing you hundreds of resumes and we'll be sharing you, you know, um, best few good LinkedIn profiles for you to compare and uh, modify your profile. And we'll be endorsing your skill set, which is very, very, very important. If you are on the same same domain or if you are planning to switch the domain, right? Your skills should be endorsed by other engineers, okay, who are also on the same domain. That these are the things which HR will be looking at. And uh, right from your profile picture to these endorsements, we will be helping you out there. And every alternative day, we'll be sharing you the remote job job opportunities available on the same domain which you are planning to get into or planning to upskill. So that you can apply for those jobs and apply. Uh, you know, uh, try to uh, make a switch over for a better career. Okay, and every, thrice in a week, we'll be sharing you insights on what's new in your domain, which is very, very, very important for us to learn on what's happening in the space of our domain. Otherwise, we'll be, you know, left behind, we'll be thrown out of the, uh, you know, competition, right? So, so there are a lot of series of activities. And every Monday, we also have a free, you know, recap of the complete project. Okay, if at all, in old projects which we have completed long back, so that you, you have access to the project, all the projects on the portal, but still there will be architect who will be recapping the whole of the project, which will be a very nice, uh, you know, um, uh, thing to be part of. So you can just sit back, relax, and uh, watch. Okay, guys, thank you so much and uh, appreciate your time for joining on your weekend. Enjoy your rest of your day. Have a great weekend and be in touch with us. Okay, and uh, have a lovely career ahead. And uh, yeah, would love to see you soon in the community. Thank you. Bye for now. I'm pretty much available on this number and contact me. Which number? Is there? The number ending with 206. 206. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. Bye for now.